Yeah, we've had a we've had a good week of preparation. Really, uh, really sharp day today. Uh, today, for the for the most part, is a is a mental day, uh, and you know, trying to trying to catch them off guard with a few things in in every phase. This is a team that's you know done a lot of stuff defensively. Uh, trying to identify fronts, blitzes, all those kind of things, and then a special teams. Uh, they've done a great job of surprise onside kicks. Uh, you know, the returner can can do a bunch of things, um, kind of improvising in the return game. So just a bunch of tests, and, and they did a really good job today. Utah has a reputation as a good special teams team. Uh, yeah. Is that shown up on your study? I haven't seen good. I've seen great. Yeah. I've seen great. Uh, they're, you know, statistically they're the best in the country right now. So that that is a huge challenge. Uh, the punter, man, the punter is worth the price of admission. That guy is fun to watch. Uh, not necessarily being on the on the business end of it, but he's a talented guy. Uh, and then obviously the return game, they're they're phenomenal. What are the differences between their two quarterbacks that make it that a challenge if they use both of them? You know, I think they're from from our standpoint, they're fairly similar. I think they're they're both big guys. They both have you know a skill set of, of run and pass uh, so it's not you know it's not uh, one guy's a total drop back statue and one guy's a run around you know type of guy and you know their system is is their system obviously their tailback is the, uh, the is the strength of their team um, and we have to, to to stop that first and foremost you mentioned the returners you guys have faced a few pretty yeah. good ones so far what makes Kalen Clay different for Utah um, he's Big and fast, uh, and then he he breaks a ton of tackles. Uh, he's he's not afraid to go outside of the 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 you know form of the return or where it's designed to go, and so that's a guy you know it's kind of like a Barry Sanders as a tailback, a guy that might not you know if it's 34 power he might bounce it to the far left sideline, um, but just a, a dynamic guy. Do you coach that with your guys? I mean, you have to stick by your assignments. Do you, but yeah. do you stick it in the back of their heads? Hey, he could freelance. Absolutely, that's what's hard to create. You know, you, you uh, and we tried to do that today and, and yesterday. Uh, yesterday, when it's more of a full speed deal of trying to, you know, if, if, again, if it's a sideline return and he he bounces it to the field or vice versa, they have to be ready for that to happen at any time. So the return guys being told, hey, yeah. don't be afraid to improvise a little yep. bit more. Exactly. Yeah. Does this mean that it's been like the most academic or most most time you've spent studying in preparation to play a team? Um, I don't know if that there, there's a couple other teams that are maybe a little bit more complicated. Um, these you got, you know, you get to this point in the season and it's the most film you have on them, you know, so you start, you know, playing a what if game from game one or game two or game three or game seven from last season, you know, how much difference they're, they're going to present. Um, but, um, you know, it's just it's a different test. Yeah. I feel about the competition between the place kickers right now? It's been good. Uh, it's been good. Those guys have both kind of nudged ahead and then nudged behind, nudged ahead at, at various points. And so we'll uh, we'll have that ironed out on game day. Health did you make a difference in that? It doesn't. No. No. In the kicking game? No. You know, hopefully in their minds it might for a little a couple more touchbacks, but it's it's not that significant. You mentioned their, their speedy running back, Devontae Booker, earlier. What do you? What kind of game plan have you guys done to slow him down? We're gonna play with 12 guys. We think that's our, our best chance. <laughs> now he's he is dynamic. You know he's a he's a powerful runner. He's hard to tackle, even for a taller guy. You know he, he runs with great pad level. Uh, he's very physical. He, he very. I mean I don't know if I've ever seen the guy get tackled by one guy, and so it's gonna be a you know committee approach, a gang tackle approach. Uh, you know, to stop him, to contain him. A lot, talk, stop him. a lot of talk about Booker. Is their offensive line a step above some of the others around that you guys have played as well? Um, we've had some good challenges, and this is certainly probably, you know, at this point, it's it's the most difficult today or for the, for this week. Um, and they're they're going to shuffle their guys around a little bit. They have a couple young guys that they're going to work in the mix, I think, a little bit more. And they're, uh, you know, a proud tradition at, at that position at, at Utah. Uh, and they're playing very physically, very physically.